Hey guys, Cody B here coming to you with another message from God's Word. We're going to be and we're going to continue our study of James. We'll be in James 1, verses 19 through 21. James 1, 19 through 21. This is what God's Word says. Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. The anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. In this passage, James begins to warn us about staying, about being careful about having control of our temperament, to not let our temperament get out of control. You know, even the world today looks at anger as a, a violent tool used by, by people. He gives us the advice here that instead of being quick to anger, he says, be slow to anger. Be quick to listen. He says, look, be first and most, most importantly to understand and to comprehend and to get through what someone's saying. You know, we live in the day of text messaging and so many times we get a text message and we wonder, is this person mad? Is this person sad? What does this person mean? Because we just see the words and we don't hear the emotions. We don't see the body language, language behind it. And so, so many times we take messages and, and communication in our society and we take it the wrong way or the way it wasn't intended and it comes down to we weren't quick to listen and when we're not quick to listen we're quick to respond he says that's that's not good he says be quick to listen be slow to speak be slow to to anger. Think about what you're saying. Think about what you're wanting to communicate and think about who you're communicating it to. Think about how the person may receive it. Words matter. And be the type of person that when you receive communication that you don't understand, instead of getting angry or or emotional, think about does this person actually would I, this person actually say this to me in this way? He warns us that the anger does not produce the righteousness of God. It's, it's, not, it's not good for us as Christians. You know, people see it as bad, like I said earlier, in, in today's culture. It's a sign of aggression, aggression and violence. 21, he tells us all and sums it all up with, uh, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness, receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your soul. He says, look, not just get away with, just don't just get rid of anger, but get rid of all things that are seen as evil, all things that are seen as bad, and instead dwell upon God's word, which is goodness and righteousness and love. You have a blessed day.